Today I will show you how to make this trace on blob jacking effect. Yo, it's Bovikas here and let's begin. Alright, so in order to make the trace on blob effect, you actually don't need any plugin and you can just do it in After Effects completely for free basically. In order to do that, you just need to use these two tools, the rectangle and the pen tool. And also actually the text tool because you want to make like that little text that you can see in most of the trace on blob uses. But you can also download my free trace on blob overlay that I have linked in the description. I made this for you guys so you can download it and check Take it and drag it and drop it. If you want, you can drop it and you will already have like this trace and blob effect. Now this will not work for like everything, you know, I just made it on just this one clip, but I tried and I actually made this work on like basically any clip that I could do. Like you just need to position the blobs well, but I'm going to show you how to make it on any clip as you want. But for beginners, you can just use this and you will already have like a trace and blob effect. I'm going to show you a bit later on what you can do with this, but now I'm going to show you how to make your own trace and blob effect. Uh, so to make a trace and blob effect, how I thought about doing this is I go to the rectangle tool make sure it's the rectangle tool right here I have the stroke to like I'm gonna have it maybe to free right now and I'm gonna have it to set to no fill just none press ok on that and what you can do now is hold shift and just draw a rectangle like this shift is gonna make it so you draw it like a perfect rectangle and you already have like a little rectangle here what I know the these cubes is the bigger the stroke you make it the more meaning it will have basically so for this bigger stroke once you might want to have it like a bit more to the face now but this cube will stay like for a long time so you don't want this to stay for a long time so you need to press ctrl shift d and we can take this part and just press delete now go here press ctrl shift d again and delete this part so we just have one frame but for some of these frames we will actually have it for two frames now this effect works fantastically well if you're editing from 15 to 30 frames per second i edit in 24 frames per second and i believe that is the best frame rate for this if you're editing on 60 you you will need to make this a bit differently and now we just have like a little blob here and now we can press ctrl d to duplicate it and we can just drag it like this now we have another cube now with this cube we can do whatever we want we can make the stroke a bit lower because it's not going to be in the main so we can make it like two now it's going to be a bit of a lower stroke and we can press like s and we can scale it down a bit we can do whatever we want basically and yeah we can place it like on the r maybe here like track it somewhere you know and we can also like take the pen tool if you want and make sure nothing is selected and here we can connect this part to this part or just get really creative with it and just deselect and now here you just have like a little connection and now we can also cut this up make sure to cut by pressing ctrl shift d and you will have this placed and you can also type like any text you want so you can type like any secret text that you want but you can also not i like to use the font Arial, Arial black and the pixels I will use are 25 because it needs to be very little. So we can type like really random stuff like 765.0, I don't even know, S75. 5a or some something like that like i just made it up by the way and yeah, i'm gonna drag it on top of the cube like this and what i like to do as well is i like to press t and make the opacity like 40 lower so you can like not see it that well and of course plus ctrl shift d delete there and we already have this and now we can just start like spamming whatever like we can just get the cubes like uh we can place one cube a bit down i'm going to press s scale this a bit down like this like it can go like that and actually i'm gonna make the stroke of this one like one like really start doing random measures like you can start drawing whatever like uh this is the best part about this you can start painting over like the uh l like the s i'm sorry the s yeah, right here like you can make these type of adjustments you can make like a like a connection here that leads to basically nowhere so yeah like this of course when you make these you need to press ctrl shift d and delete the other part and again with this one so we just have it for one frame or two frames you can actually do this for two frames as well and you can just go back duplicate the cubes uh, make them go wherever you want like a cube maybe here a cube maybe here you can add a bit more text like you can duplicate the text and just drag it right here i like that you can also like type like a secret here like sub for fun or something like that i don't know you can type that on like have a little secret in your video and yeah you can press t and, and even make this opacity like 25 i guess you can scale it down a bit if you want by pressing s 
Yeah, you can like really mess around. And yeah, we already have like a frame here. That looks pretty cool. I'm gonna add a bit more cubes. Like the more cubes you have, the better I think it is. And yeah, here we have like a little frame. And then now what you can do is you can select all of these frames that we have here. Press Control C, press Control V. This is gonna duplicate it on top of the layers. And you can add like previously here. And like what some things I like to do here is like press P. I'm just gonna drag it a bit behind. Yeah, like something like this. So yeah, this can like really work. As you see, like that can work. And and another thing I would suggest is having like a cube before starting the whole like uh, a trace and blob effect. I just like to have like a single cube like a, I'm gonna hold shift draw it on the subject's head. I'm gonna make it like 3.5 actually here. Yeah, like that. I'm gonna press Control shift D and yeah, I'm gonna have it for two frames. So it looks like this. Now these are just a couple of frames and you probably want more frames. So like you can uh, duplicate whatever we had. You can start to make like different ones. Like, you can make this like actually very fast. Like you can just start to draw cubes wherever you want. Like look, I'm drawing the cubes wherever I want. I'm gonna start also painting them. You can, you can have them in the same shape layer as well. That's also doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, you can have like the cubes in the same shape layer. So then you will have to cut way less. And yeah, here you can have like any text you want. As you can see, that layer looks like a trace and blob effect and another cool little thing is if you're ending your clip with a dark screen and then it goes to the next clip like dark for one frame then you can uh, go back here you can press ctrl d and yeah you can just add this at the ending like that so it like stays for one frame like this that's how it will look uh maybe we can actually press ctrl d and make this a bit like lower so that looks very cool and that's basically the general idea of how to make this some cool adjustments you can do or like you can pre-compose like everything that we just did so like we can hold everything down you can also render this and make your own little overlays like i made for you it's gonna take a bit of time to drag down okay wait wait yeah once you select everything you need to right click press pre-compose and here you can call it blob or something press okay and now we can start to like really mess up so for example uh you can like press ctrl d press ctrl shift d to cut only one frame out and here you can add like a uh, random glows like you can add glow and you can make like the glow radius like high and the threshold like really low and the glow intensity pretty high to give a bit of more of a glow but um i actually like to add a glow called deep glow which is a plugin so if you don't have it like you, you don't need this i'm just saying like a little bit of a uh, nice touch you can do and you can make the exports to like 0.5 and that is going to be like a really nice touch to have in your uh, edit you can press ctrl y and we can add motion tile and here i'm going to make the output with 75 you of course don't have to do this if your clip was already in full screen but going back to my overlay i'm going to show you how to actually use the overlay so you can just use it without thinking like just drop it and just use it like uh, usually you should probably use this before transitioning like this is a clip and then it goes to another clip so I'm, i would like probably use it like this so this is how it will look here you can uh, press ctrl shift d and you can press r and like you can rotate it like whatever like rotation you want like you can rotate to the like the shape of the face you can also press ctrl shift d again here you can rotate back to normal and here you can like add deep blow that's gonna look pretty cool i'm gonna check down the exposure a bit and here at the start like you can uh, mess around a lot like you can press ctrl d here duplicate it and add it like twice so it's gonna like glitch a lot more yeah, that's gonna look really nice like that. And you can add like your own ones. Like if you want, you can drag another rectangle here by like hold shift draw it don't forget to make this to one frame so press ctrl shift d we can actually make this to two frames like this part so this sounds going to look now and yeah basically that's the basics of it and that's exactly how you need to do this if there are any questions from the video then please let me know i also would like to let you know that i have a video editing website which is called poikas.com it's a website that i created to help video editors have insane visuals that also save a lot of time for your music videos or edits or just ba basically any type of edits i would really recommend to check out the poikas.com website because i use my presets in every single project that i do and i would bet that they would save a lot of time for you as well but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day. See ya.